All right, hello everyone. And I think we're gonna go ahead and get started now. Um, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to join us today at the start of this year's BFC Talks. Uh, in general, this is a place where we talk to each other about all the various life enriching activities that they get our, give our lives a, a little bit of extra spice that makes it a, just a little bit more fun. Um, just as an FYI, if you're interested in sharing something that interests you, please don't hesitate to contact either Marina Kortenbush, uh, Marina, our presenter today, or myself, and we'll be happy to arrange a BFC talk for you. Today, however, uh, we're happy to have uh, Marina Zepogina, uh, and she's going to be talking to us about how e-readers can be used to enhance the learning of foreign languages. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Marina, she's a designer in BFC's marketing department, and she also has a passion for photo uh, photography, uh, art, languages, and healthy living in general. Uh, Marina was born in Moldova, but she's also lived in Russia, France, and Finland. And she, along with her super cute dog, are now based in Italy. So with that, Marina, thank you very much for being with us today. Please go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. Thank you, Brian. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's talk. Do you know that reading in a foreign language is one of the best ways to expand your vocabulary and to see grammar in action? But this is not an easy task. I'm going to share some tips on how to use an e-reader, in my case Kindle, to make learning a foreign language more fun. Why am I using Kindle? First of all, e-reader is a convenient way to consume digital text. But there are other advantages as well. You can carry a thousand books in your bag. You can adjust the font. E-books are cheaper than paper books, and classics are even free on Amazon. Bookmarks, highlighting, note-taking, are available within a tab. It's safe for your eyes when compared to other digital devices. And most important, there are features which help learning foreign languages. And now I'm going to present them to you. Every Kindle comes with a built-in dictionary in English. And you can install other dictionaries depending on the languages of the books you are reading. You can easily tap a word and you will see the definition directly on screen. If you use more than one dictionary, it's very easy to switch between them. And you can also turn on Wi-Fi to have access to Wikipedia and online translator that is provided by Bing. Let's see now how one of my favorite features works. WordWise is designed to make reading challenging books easier. Short definitions are displayed above difficult words. Tapping on the WordWise symbol brings up a dial that allows you to adjust the amount of hints. As you can see, there are a lot of suggestions with the hint dial set to maximum. Tapping on a word brings up a window with a short definition. WordWise is available on more than a million of ebooks in English language on Amazon. If you want to see WordWise in action, you can also pick a freebie. While reading, holding down on a word or holding and dragging across multiple words brings up the option to add note and highlight. Let's see it in action. Annotations 
can be viewed from the menu. Additionally, the Kindle has a feature called Public Notes and Highlights that displays the most frequently highlighted section along with notes. For example, here is a passage that was highlighted by 2,110 readers in the book about Japanese tea that I'm reading now. Here is another useful feature for people who learn foreign language. You can use Kindle as a flashcard browser. So how does it work? When you tap on the word to see its definition, Kindle automatically creates a flashcard. You can find the Vocabulary Builder tab in the menu. Start practicing and mastering new words, just as you would with flashcards on paper. Once you got a bit of practice with simple foreign language text, why not browse the Kindle store for full-length novels? As you can see, there are over a million books in more than 35 languages. There are many books which are free to download. And if you are a member of Amazon Prime, you can just borrow a book for a period of time instead of buying it. You can learn more about it on Amazon.com. And here is how to look for learning materials in Kindle Store. In the search bar, type learn and the language of your choice in quotation marks. It gives approximately 500 results for German and 750 for French. Thank you for the attention. Please feel free to ask me any questions or share your tips on learning foreign languages.